guy here. Probably not supposed to be recording, but it's recording on my phone. So I think the car's, oh, it's right there. There it is. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's carbon fiber too. Damn, it's really, really nice. I'm gonna take it off now. I have Goo Gone in my backpack, so hopefully I'm able to take it off. Look at this thing. Oh damn, look at the interior. This thing's freaking mint. So I finally got it off and this thing's actually in really really good condition has like no scratches and I kind of broke it right here when I was taking it off but where's it at I don't know where I broke it at but I broke it somewhere but it's not that bad it's like I think right there you can barely see it's a small crack but overall it's in really good condition so let's see how much I pay for this thing so here's how much I paid I got it for a really good deal $29, pretty much 30 bucks for a spoiler. This thing's like $180 on eBay. So I saved a lot of money and it was worth the drive. So now I have about an hour drive home. So I'm gonna get out and out of here and we'll install it as soon as we get home. That was such a long drive. But I'm gonna stop by the hardware store real quick because I wanna get some bolts for the M62 because I wanna get it on the engine stand. I'm gonna be putting it on with the clutch and the flywheel and the pressure plate on it because I don't wanna take that stuff off because you can't really reuse the pressure plate since it adjusts to the wear of the clutch. So I'm gonna get these extended bolts and hopefully they will fit. I bought some yesterday but they were a little bit too short so I wanna get some longer ones and then I think it should work. So I'm gonna stop by real quick and then we'll head home and get that spoiler installed on the car. Oh, I see a Miata. Those cars must be fun. Oh, I came to the wrong place. Oh my God, shit. Let me see. Man, I love this car. It saves a lot of gas and it's so reliable. This thing hasn't broken in like forever. So I guess it's cool having one of these. Ooh, look at the Miata. Drift car. Dang, look at that wing. Yeah, that thing was big. All right, we just got to the store. This place has like literally every bolt that you'll ever need. So here's the bolts that I picked up. They're seven inches long, so exactly the size that I needed them. And I'm gonna be using these to mount the engine onto the stand with the clutch, the flywheel, and the pressure plate installed, just saving myself the headache of taking it off. So we're getting closer and closer to starting this E30 V8 build. I'm back home now, working on the spoiler right here, trying to take off most of the residue that was left over from the 3M adhesive that I had on it. So I got most of the strips off, but it left a lot of residue on there, so I'm trying to take it off with Goo Gone before I put on the, the new layers of 3M uh, double-sided tape. So I'm gonna take all this stuff off and then put the new layers on and we can install it on the car. Can't wait to see what it's gonna look like. able to take off like some of these areas right here I gotta get it with like my nail and stuff but it's not gonna be too much of an issue so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it up because it's like super oily from the Goo Gone and we should be straight we should be able to put the new 3M on it and put this thing on the car it's gonna look dope I can't really record that much in the Sun cuz my camera starts to overheat but I got the 3M double-sided tape on and I'm not gonna peel it off just yet I'm gonna use some masking tape to line up the spoiler and then I'm gonna take off the this side of the tape and then we can actually lay it down but I want to line it up first just to make sure it's perfect so just make sure it's perfect on each side the rear is starting to look a little bit 
better. I feel like there's a little bit more things we could do. I'm probably gonna change up my exhaust setup now that I got this spoiler. I'm thinking about doing like a quad exhaust or like a dual exhaust, and I think that looks super, super sick. Look at the condition that this spoiler is in. I got this thing for $30, guys. This thing's like 180 bucks on eBay, so I got a really good deal. I got this thing for a steal. You guys know me, I'm always looking for good deals. And it came just right the, at the right time. Like I said in one of my last videos, I wanted to focus on the rear of this car. And finally, got a spoiler on it. It looks so much better. Just look at that. Damn. You guys are wondering what's going on with the 335i? Look at this. Look at all these errors. Yeah, injectors 1235 or DME internal fault. What the hell? Four, Matt. five, and six, dude. All the injectors are failing, yeah, dude. I know. And this is my master relay DME. I don't know. I feel like A lot that's of people not... say it goes bad. Yeah? Yep, no description found. See, this is why I don't get why it drives so good. And then as soon as you just set it down, the freaking injectors start leaking, and I think it just starts misfiring. All the fuel that probably just stays on, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think it just it gets onto the spark plugs, and then when you do a warm start, Imagine it being straight pipe, dude. Down pipes, cold air intake. They will sound crazy. So the car already started misfiring. We have a misfire on cylinder one, cylinder five, and then several cylinders. That's why I don't get it. It has new spark plugs, new ignition coils. The last thing I would think would probably be the fuel injectors, but I don't know. Pretty sure as soon as we turn it off and you just let it freaking wow. if you do a warm start, it's gonna just start misfiring like crazy. So that's the issue with the 335i. Um, yeah, it really sucks because he's already done a lot of maintenance to it and the car still doesn't really run that well. And damn, it just really sucks just not being able to drive that car. But um, I wanna show you guys the whole idea of the engine stand thing that I'm doing. So hopefully it works, but I'm just gonna explain to you guys like what I got going on over here. So it's kind of a mess what I'm doing and a lot of Mickey Mouse stuff, but I really don't want to take off the flywheel and the clutch and the pressure plate just because it's like new and then you have to readjust it and all that other stuff. So I want to save myself the headache from taking that stuff off if I can. So I bought these seven inch long bolts and they fit just perfectly. So they all go in just right and they're grade 10.9. So they're really, really strong and they should be able to hold the engine. But uh, the only thing that I was worried about was the fact that there was nothing to support the bolt from the back over here since it's just like on its own and it doesn't have like this metal piece. So I bought like this metal pipe. It's like a heavy duty metal pipe from Home Depot and I shaved it down as you guys can see. So it's all shaved down and this is gonna go in on the back over here. And then the bolt's gonna go through it like that and it's gonna pop out through the back over here so now the ball has support over here in the back and now we can just like put it on there so these legs right here go onto the engine stand and they're pretty much just gonna hold it so hopefully all of this stuff works I'm not gonna be able to do it today since I don't have my engine hoist um, or not my engine hoist I borrowed it from someone and then they needed it back and then I'm gonna get it back like sometime this weekend so um, hopefully like in my next video I'll have like the, the engine on my engine stand and then I can start working on it doing some maintenance clean this thing up and probably take off that wiring harness and replace it with a different one <laughs> any luck finding an E30. I've been searching on the Facebook, Marketplace, everywhere guys, OfferUp, uh, Craigslist. I've been searching really, really deep. I found a couple E30s, but it's nothing that I really want. I really want to find a perfect one that is just like, I don't know, just nice from the outside. I don't really want to do too much work since I'm already doing a lot of like engine work. I don't really want to just double up the work that I'm gonna to have to do for the E30. So I'm trying to get one that's in like fair condition, I guess, but it's gonna be really, really difficult to do so. So if I have to get a bucket, then I'm gonna to have to get a bucket and then I'm gonna to have to fix it up and do all this crazy stuff to it. But um, I don't know, it's gonna take some It's gonna take some time for sure, but it's totally gonna to be worth it. I really want to finish this project by the end of summer. 
and I don't know it's just gonna be so fun guys and I can't fucking wait honestly like I'm just so hyped on it guys but on that note I'm gonna end this video right here if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys leave a like comment down below subscribe to the channel because there's gonna be a lot of content coming very soon with that E30 build so just stay tuned hit those bell notifications so you guys don't miss a video and I'll see you guys in the next one talk to you guys later